All right, we're back. This is, I think this is part three of my Doom Eternal gameplay. Uh, I hope you don't mind. I actually finished this on my own time. Um, so we're gonna actually be going to Ancient Gods 2, starting from scratch. Uh, I did the, I did this Seraphim boss that I was actually planning on, um, recording for you, but I was kind of tired at the time, and I just, uh, felt like doing it without talking. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to be doing this, but I want to up the difficulty because I don't know if I'm ready. This was what I used to play at. I'm, wait, no, maybe it was this. Or maybe it was this. I don't know if I'm ready to go back to ultra violence. Um, uh, let's do it. You know what? Let's. I like a challenge. Uh, I have uh, my dog Rambo here in the room with me. Um, so hopefully it doesn't make too much noise. I'll let you get, I'll let you hear this, and then I'll start talking again. Okay, it's a bit of an awkward silence. I guess I'll just talk. Uh, I think I'm just gonna skip this, you know. It's kinda just taking a while. <laughs> Come on, let me play, let me play. Okay, here you go. <laughs> Looks like an evil zipper demon. Honestly, it kind of does. <laughs> no blood. It's got the same hair, that's for sure. Only Naboo, home of the Gungan people. That's, um, hyperdrive for light speed. Oh, there you go, finally I'm in. Yeah, so like I was saying, I I did um, finish that part one, and I did the boss battle. It was a very fun boss battle, and I definitely improved a bit, but I'm still like getting back into it and everything. Uh, it's going to take some time, and this is obviously a much harder difficulty. We went on two, uh, so excuse me if I'm a little bad. I'm not going to... What I'm going to do is shorter episodes. Uh, probably, and do it a bit more, hopefully. And yeah, that's what I'm really hoping for here. Whew. Let's talk about my dog, Rambo. So, uh, Rambo got a haircut, like, a week ago. And they cut him pretty short because he had some, like, knots in his fur or whatever. It's the shortest he's ever been cut, and he was like really kind of uncomfortable for a few days, like he wasn't himself, but he's sort of now getting back into it. I noticed something too, and it sounds bad, but I didn't like him as much because he was really ugly. 
some reason he wasn't as cute as he usually was and I, I was having a hard time like even like petting him because I was like, eh, he looks weird. But we put a jacket on him so I didn't have to look at him. He just looked too bad. I know that kind of sounds mean, but you know. So far, it's not been terribly difficult. Oh crap. Right when I say that, I lose, huh? Wait a minute. I'm, I'm really confused. Are you supposed to just jump here and then go? There must be some place where I can grab onto the rock. I assume. Oh. Well, no, that's out of the way. Okay. But anyway, Rambo's here. He's chilling. Hmm. This was like the tutorials. Ah, uh, okay. Double jump, dash, and our grapple points. Okay, can I get out of this tutorial? Okay, 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 okay. Let's go get... You know what's kind of weird? I kind of almost get like... You know that feeling, I know you don't play Minecraft, but back in the day when you'd find diamonds, you'd be like, oh yeah, diamonds. Whenever I see like stuff to pick up in this game, I get kind of excited. Oh yeah, these guys, you can't just put a bomb in its mouth. Okay. But, uh... Boom! See, I'm better, guys. Don't you remember how bad I was at the beginning of this? I'm sure I'm still not on Zipper Demon level, but I'm... I'm I would say I'm one step away. <laughs> no. He was crazy good. Um, still is, but... Whoa. Off to demons. I know what those guys are. Oh my god, that was insane. Oh my god, I just died. Okay, so see, that's that's why this is a big... A B... F D, a big freaking deal. No, no, that's the wrong, that's the freaking wrong, no, 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 no.
Sorry I'm so quiet. I went on a bike ride today. I went to a to a Sensio. Had a pretty good time. Pretty good day today. Went out and ate uh, at a really nice Italian restaurant. Just had a really nice pizza. And I'm playing Doom Eternal now, so that's pretty great. I want to also do multiplayer games. I think I'm going to come out with that too soon. Um, yeah. Very, very cool. See, this is not too hard. I know it's just beginning, but... I like missing, like... Oh, this is the last guy. Let's pick up all the goodies here. That was not that hard, so I've definitely improved a lot. I don't, I'm definitely not where I used to be, but I'll get there. You know, get there real soon. Just feel it. <sighs> okay, so these things you punch. Yeah. Thinking about starting like a election YouTube channel. Not to like replace this one. Or I could honestly just post it on this channel. Hmm. I don't know. I was just thinking about it. I got opinions, you know? Not allowed to leave this circle. Whoa! Oh man. I'm still a noob. Alright. This is like my dog Rambo, you know? Except he's uh, much bigger and not a Pomeranian. Here, here's a fun thing I did. We did a dog DNA test and we found out my dog is 90% Pomeranian. Oh, come on. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. He was 90, he's 90% 90 Pomeranian and like 10 or like 12%. Something called Mittel German Spitz. Which is basically, if you look at it, they're just like big Pomeranians. Uh, which is true. Like, my dog is bigger than the average Pomeranian, so it makes a lot of sense. that baby. I pay a little bit of attention, it's not so hard. Oh crap, oh crap. No, 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 no. Oh, by the way, I, I, I need to like figure out the name of all the uh, demons again. And I think it's in the codex. Oh crap, 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 crap. There you go. Come on, come on, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. How about that earthquake in New York? Isn't that crazy? <laughs> I, I saw this thing, um, 
is this candidate for like the Green Party, like a major leftist, uh, and she was posted on Twitter and then deleted it, obviously. She was like, this is about climate change, like, you know, the earthquake in New York. Now, I don't know much about science, but I'm pretty sure the tectonic plates don't have anything to do with climate change. Um, in fact, I don't think a lot of stuff has to do with climate change. I think that's just something people say. But then again, I'm not an expert. Because the experts know way more than everybody. They're geniuses. They went to Harvard and Yale. I feel like the dumbest people you know went to the best schools. When you look around, you see these smart people that really haven't accomplished anything in their entire life other than like hate people that are greater than them and actually have done something and all they do is just go on the TV and say oh this guy's dumb, this guy's dumb, no you're dumb you have a degree that essentially uh, once you die I mean, they'll be like you never even got a degree you know what I'm saying? you find some dumb people and believe me, uh, I, you know, I can speak to this because not only am I in college, but I've been in school like this. The teachers can sometimes be really stupid um, and completely disinterested in the truth. I'm not saying not all, not all, but a lot. I just think, like, respect is earned and... It's like, what is that line? It's, by, your, by their fruits, you'll know them. That's a good thing. With the whole, like, uh, people that love their degree. Which, increasingly, I feel is just a bunch of liberals that brag about their degree and say that we gotta trust everything they say, you know? So, uh, by their fruits, you'll know them. i rather trust uh, people's accomplishments and their proven record. And, or like, if we're talking about morality, I'll go based off that too. Uh, I won't just go based on, you know, someone that talks using big words and went to some fancy school. I'd rather have a guy with a southern accent that supports the right things, you know what I'm saying? People hate southern accents. I kind of like them. But they're stereotyped as being stupid. Which I'm not saying, uh... I'm not saying all Southerners are smart, but uh, I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this about people with those academic college accents from like Harvard or wherever, Stanford or, you know, uh, any other good school. It doesn't have to be the top school, but any of these like prestigious schools. Um, they all talk really soft and they all support awful things, so I don't think they're smart really don't. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Yeah! Yeah! Die, die, die. Oh yeah, baby. Ha! Gotcha. That was an armored baron. Baron Trump. That's how Melania says it. Baron. He's looking good. He's like, um... He's like 6'8 or something, uh, he turned out pretty, he's a pretty handsome guy, um, he's definitely got his mother's looks, cause obviously, genuine, gen generally the Trump family doesn't have great genes, although I will say, so if you look at the old videos, um, obviously Ivanka, his daughter, is his most pretty child, um, Eric? especially looked so awful he almost looked like he was like and i'm not trying to be mean but he almost looked like he had like a learning disability like he did not look right uh don jr also looked weird he was this weird pudgy dude but then they both grew beards and like lost a lot of weight and now they look like decent and ivanka still looks good but tiffany lost a lot of weight and now she looks good um, but Baron has his mom's genes, and he, he always looked pretty good. I would say Ivanka and Baron are his um, best-looking children, and Ivanka got 
Ivana's genes, Trump's first wife. Uh, but weirdest thing, um, there's this woman named Mary Trump. She's uh, a member of the Trump family that's like a raging leftist that hates Trump. She was famous for like two seconds in like 2018 because she wrote a hit piece on her uncle. And she's basically, her whole career is based off hurting her family or whatever and trying to destroy her uncle uh, for no apparent reason. But if you look at her, she looks just like Donald Trump, but she's a woman. She looks so bad. It's like the worst thing you've ever seen. And if you look at lots of members of their family, they all have that very strange look. The tiny mouths, like Trump has. Uh, but I, I think if you're a woman, maybe it looks even worse. Am I supposed to kill this thing? I thought this thing was just for decoration. I guess nothing's decoration in Doom. Oh wow. Lol. That's such a meme. Just for decoration. I was seriously like thinking like, what is that? It's looking sus. <laughs> looking sus. Zipper even. I'm Sussy Boy. That was the name that Zipper Demon gave this channel. Sussy Boy. I love that name. It's really good. Zipper Demon. That was like that. Very strange name, but it's pretty cool. It's unique. Unique name for a unique person. I think Saucy Boy is pretty unique too. Um, you know, some people, my Twitter account is named Saucy Boy, some people uh, find it displeasing. They don't like it, but hey, I like it. Oh crap! That thing is so overpowered! Oh, no, 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 no. But guys, I am better. I mean, come on, I'm better. Are you kidding me? You got armor back? You know what I, um... I've been thinking lately, um, so they say my generation has a really short attention span, right? And they like attribute it to like a lot of things like TikTok and stuff. And I'm beginning to think it's true because ever since they added YouTube Shorts, I'm just scrolling through that thing and I don't even like 90% of the content. Like it's all stupid stuff that I don't like. But yet I watch it, and I do think it is, it affects my brain. I'm trying to show up boomers, libtards, um, what's another political term? I really like conserva boomer. I just, uh, I just, <laughs> conserva boomer. Last time. 
hard to do maternal just figuring out what like what uh just figuring out your like rhythm that's what the game is once you get your rhythm you can really sort of vibe to victory vibe to victory it sounds like some bullshit Oh no, it's not stuck. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Wait, hold on, wait, wait, one second. <laughs> oh, what? There you go. See, that's that rhythm I'm talking about. Use the fire. Use a few chainsaws. This game has like the best flow of anything I've ever played. It's really perfect. There's nothing like it. I definitely think this is the best game I ever played. And I'll, I haven't played like... I, okay, let me tell you. I'm not like a person that... She's like a true conservative. I'm not even doing like lots of things at once or like you know um changing up too much stuff because conservative means opposed to change right um so i haven't played like loads of games because once i get when i like one i just play one not one but few and it takes me a while to like new things and um yeah, so that's how it is with games. I, I, I'll leave the door open like, yeah, maybe there are better games, but from what I can play, see, this is like the best game overall I've ever played. Um, I grew up on like Call of Duty, really. Not like when I was like four, but when I was like eight. Eight, nine, ten, you know, that age. Do this! No! That, that was just a unfortunate scenario. That was really bad. I'm really sorry. This will be the last checkpoint though, and then I'll sign off, so I won't force you through this nightmare. That was just, see I get distracted sometimes when I talk. That That's, I'm better than that. Um, but yeah, so I grew up on like the Call of Duty games mainly. Black Ops 1, World at War, Black Ops 2. Um, I really enjoyed those games, um, and I still do, but really only to play with friends, you know, um, deal for those games. I'm pretty damn good for the level that I play at, like, um, I don't, like, put a lot of effort or time into it, it's just, like, muscle memory. Those games will always hold a place in my heart, zombies. Specifically the Treyarch Zombies, awesome, Black Ops 3, a lot of practice with Black Ops 3, with Zipper Demon, and we gotta make a video about that, that's what we should do. Um, uh, yeah, and then I play some strategy games, like war, political games, the Paradox games. Um, those games are fun, but they're sort of fun because they're they're more like low effort, relaxing type game. They're not really relaxing, they are pretty intense and difficult, but uh, I mean like, you don't have to like, can't not pay attention for like 5 seconds or I have to start over, you know what I'm saying? So those games are fun. Uh, when I was very young I played the Lego games, I, Lego Star Wars complete edition that was fun put Lego like Indiana Jones I played um I played Lego Batman but only at my cousin's house I, I didn't have that one but that one's actually really good um definitely don't play those ones anymore but every once in a while I sort of maybe people are over I look at it with them uh just for fun 
go. Okay. So yeah, I'm, I'm getting like quicker at just getting back to where I was. That's the sign that I'm getting back. I played a bunch of other crazy games. I played Saints Row 3, which was a it was a banger. I um, stayed in a line. At the time, this was the latest I ever stayed up in my life. I was sleeping over at my cousin Arsam's house, and we um, we really wanted to play this game. And so this is something my parents would never let me do, but we stood in the, uh, like, you know, when the game first comes out, you stand in the line, go get it first. Yeah, we did that, and then I, like, think I fell asleep at, like, you know, I'm so sick. I was, I don't know, was I, like, 11 or something, 10? Yeah, um, that game was really fun. Grand Theft Auto. I, I love Grand Theft Auto 4. I played that when I was in middle school, I believe. Um, that game was awesome. I played Grand Theft Auto... Sorry, that was, I'm talking about Grand Theft Auto 5, but I did play Grand Theft Auto 4. It's funny, I was so young, I didn't even understand how, like, the, you know, you, you have to, like, go to people, right, to, like, start the story in, like, Grand Theft Auto, and I didn't really get how it worked, so I would just go around shooting people. Yeah, so... And hey, I didn't become a school shooter. They say that video games make school shooters. Okay, so... You hear, like, a lot of things, like, coming out these days about bravery. I noticed that a lot. Like, particularly, there was this controversy with the so-called Trans Day of Visibility, which fell on Easter, and President Biden did a presidential proclamation, uh, only president to do so, saying, proclaiming Trans Day of Visibility, and he said, they're the bravest people I know. Now, I would like to bring two thoughts. The first is the most obvious one. No, three thoughts. And I've been thinking about this for a while, so I like to think, like, I like to, like, go a little bit deeper than the plebs. Um, this better not make me lose, because this is going to be complicated. Is he said they're some of the most brave people he knows. Now, let's just take a moment to think about that for a second. Isn't he the, like, commander-in-chief of the U.S. military? How about, like, military members? Like, how about firefighters, police, you know? Maybe like a doctor that volunteers in a war zone, you know, that's really brave. So that was the first thought. Second thought is... They say like bravery as if it's always good, you know what I'm saying? Like, what if you're brave and you're doing something bad? For instance, robbing a bank is very brave because you're likely going to get caught and go to jail. or uh, you could go even darker, yang up is brave, because you're likely gonna get killed, but they're terrible. So braveness is not always a virtue. You have to be actually doing something good. And I know those are extremes, but... Oh shit, shit, let me stop for a second. <laughs> Let me, let me continue. So I was just saying like, being brave is not necessarily always good and people have forgotten that. And the last thing is like, you know what, fine, I'll agree, it is kind of brave to be trans, but that doesn't mean it's like, you know, that doesn't mean it's just like I was saying, not everything brave is good. And 
I think people don't even understand that anymore. But I was just thinking, wow, so inappropriate. Like that whole situation, I don't know how you, it's so politically incompetent. Forget like everything I just said about why it's bad. Oh shit, I'm probably gonna die. If I die here, I'll just sign off. I don't wanna make you watch me do this. Let me, uh, let me quick. I need a chainsaw. What the hell? Is another one? Oh, those are called Doom Hunters. It's all coming back to me now. <laughs> I am very excited to play multiplayer. Hopefully we can do a Sussy Boy Zipper Demon multiplayer soon. But for now I'll be playing uh, just with random people. That's what this is, I guess. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, just politically makes no sense. And for a guy that's already losing, um, a lot of people don't understand this, um, the polls actually overestimated Biden more than Hillary, so the fact that Trump is up right now is a very bad sign for Biden, and just the way the ele electoral college works, he really can't win the election unless he wins by about four points, which means he has to be up in the polls by about seven if we take the margin of error into account. So just do making these decisions are so ridiculous when he's losing. It's just everything is just making it more difficult for him. And then, like I said, I mean, I don't think I have to explain why it's ridiculous. It's obviously Easter. So it would never happen if this he would put that out um, and you know what if you would then even stupider because at least they you know probably won't forgive him for it a lot of Christians probably will so-called Christians I mean a lot of people just say they're Christian I mean same for all religions but too many Christians in this country at least and a lot of them just are like Christian Christians is because like it's just fashionable really not not fashionable like it's just cultural you know all right is that it all right guys don't know what I'm saying guys all right guy um, so I am I'm better I mean go back and look at my first oh I can one huge improvement for sure and yeah, Rambo was a good boy he's, he's really quiet he's sitting right behind me I don't know if he was making noise I have my earbuds in um, he's a really nice really good boy um, but yeah this game is just sick okay and I don't know what this is for I guess it was to like swing around here but uh, yeah, we will pick up, pick up right here. I'm pretty sure I don't, I'm going to try not to play too much on my own. I will try to pick up right here, uh, unless I can't take it and I have to play, but I'm hoping I can play with you and yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed my commentary, um, beforehand next time so I can have less silence. So let me just go see, just so I remember for next time where the... Okay, it's right here. I don't know how to get to that. Okay, guys. Without further ado, thank you for watching. This has been Sussy Boy. Sussy Boy out.